it's me, Joy slash Fairy Liquid from the Magical Land of Ching Chang Chu Chong. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to make this. And this is a cute little penguin. Now you can make this in 260s, you can make it in 160s. The one I'm doing today is in 160s. And I originally saw this on um, oh, ages and ages and ages ago. I've been making this balloon for a long, 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 long time. And it's brilliant for me as a prize in the parties that I do, because I don't just do ballooning, but I do lots of entertainment and ballooning configures part of that entertainment and it makes a brilliant prize a very coveted very coveted indeed and this cute little bracelet is a nice one to do um so slight variation on this one which i originally saw i think it was the twister sisters um years and years and years ago and so i've been using it now you're going to need three uh balloons so i've got um a dark one um an orange and a white now so you can use black and then it will be obviously a penguin um but purple's okay dark blue's okay it's still sort of uh you know fairly recognizable so if we just um pump up oh, a little bit of air not low you don't need loads because in a 160 you never use the whole balloon anyway for uh, when you're making the miniature designs i'm just going to tie that and there we go give it a little bit of a give it a bit of a switch so it's not too tight just put my orange one down right and then pop that on my arm going to put this one over the top here by the way thank you for joining me today how are you are you doing okay just chatting a little bit because it just takes a little bit of time to get the 160s on here <laughs> there we go right let's put a bit of air in the white one right don't need it loads as you can see it's got absolutely tons left now if you were making this in 160s you would need to blow up more but again for the white one you don't need to blow all the way the uh the black one or the purple one you would need to to blow that most of the way perhaps leaving a tail of about that much at the end okay okay just give it a little squidge just to make sure that it's not too firm and we're going to tie the two together so just do a knot and then another knot yeah, like that. I'm going to make the eyes. So if you're doing it in 160s, I reckon you'll probably need about three fingers. If you're doing it in 260s, maybe at four or even a hand span, I don't know. Uh, you just got to gauge these things. Get a, have a little fiddle about, see what works best for you, see what looks right, what looks cute. Okay, so I've just done... Oh, just did that really quickly, didn't I? Did you see what I did then? <laughs> just unwind that. Okay, so I did the bubble and I twisted it and then I brought it back over and I want one that's the same, and I'm just twisting it into that, there, like that. And then we're gonna take the purple, and we're gonna place it over the top there, like that. Trying not to hit myself in the face. Over, around, like that. I'm just going to uh, twist that into that section there. So press and twist is the quickest way to do it. Now we're gonna make two little cheeks, okay? So if you want to make a smaller bubble as you can, so just bring it round like that, and then sort of squeeze and twist. If you want, what you can do is twist the bubble first and then pull it back on itself to make a ear twist. But um, I just think it's just quick, quicker just to bend it over and then just sort of press and twist. Get one that's the same size. There we are. So there's these little cheeks there like that. And, um, and put the white bits in the front. So now we, that's um, the two eyes, there's his cheeks. We're gonna make a, like a beak in the middle shortly out of orange, but not yet. And so this bit here is his body. So he's gonna turn, do a little twist. You don't want it too big, there's a, an idea. So just to give you an idea of, of sizes. So that whole head um, is like four of my fingers, maybe, maybe, maybe like a whole hand span with the cheeks as well. And then underneath, um, got, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, probably at six, six fingers for the body, but it doesn't really matter as long as it looks about right. Now, a variation that you can do here right now is if you don't have orange or you don't have much time, don't bother to use orange for the feet, okay? So um, you can just twist a, a leg here, so just a foot there, so just do a little foot and then twisty, twisty like that. Okay, and then do another one on the other side and twisty, twisty like that. We're left with a little bit at the end there. And then you've got two feet there 
Now what you would do next is um, bring the body up across there. You just finish, finish off with the body, okay? And then get rid of, of the extra. However, I don't want to do my feet like this, okay? So I shall, before I go on any further, I shall just undo what I've done there. But I do use that quite a lot. If I'm in a rush, um, I'll just use white feet. It still looks like a penguin, nobody minds. Nobody even really knows unless they've already had one with orange feet. Okay, so um, uh, what we wanna do now is, um, so I've got that long bit there, just down there. We'll sort that out in a minute. So just bring the purple back up and we want it to be the same size as that one and to lock in there. So just grabbing hold of the cheeks and the head, pulling those up and holding onto there. I'm gonna pull the rest down. I'm just gonna rotate it and turn. There we are, so you get that. And then we're just gonna do one more down the side there and um, we're gonna just twist it in with just down the bottom here so there we go like that now this rest of your purple bit here can be your tail so if you want to give me a little tail which you kind of do need to in order for it to kind of like not unravel so just um just gonna get rid of this other bit here of course you you pros you know how to pull it apart don't you i still can't do it <laughs> i'm too scared i'm too scared so i'm just gonna use scissors me <laughs> and let's get rid of the scrap there tie that and you've got a little tail there you can either have a little egg which you can store inside which is what i do with the 260s but the other thing you can do is just simply cut that as well go Whee! and tie that bit oops because it's a bit short all right so i'm just going to wrap it around instead i had all that extra and i still managed to cut it too short there we go so i've just um tied that round so now we're just going to give him some feet now this is when our orange comes into play if you've got orange scrap even better use that up all right so we've got a bit of orange balloon and here we're going to make some feet. So I'm just going to hold onto the nozzle, turn it round, twist it round there like that and pass it through the middle just to hold it into place. I'm gonna do another one, the same on the other side. Like that. There you got that. We don't need the rest. Now, I'm going to cut that off. I'll just try and remember to leave myself a little bit of uh, extra <laughs> to, to tie that off with. There we go. That should be all right. I've dropped it. Now, it doesn't matter, actually. I'll pick that up in a minute. As I'm already holding some inflated balloon, now there's two ways you can make the beak. You can push the air all the way through to the end. So you've just got like, um, you know, just a little bubble at the end. And that can be your beak and you can tie that off. Or if say you're using a bit of scrap and so you, you don't actually have a round end like that, then what you would do is, um, is just let's just tie this, okay? And tie it like that. And then just like we did with the feet, you can just bring it round like that and make, make a little loop for your beak. Pass it through the center and get rid of the rest. want to leave a little bit because we're going to wrap it around the face so let's let's do the beak as I'm holding it already so we're going to pop, put that in there like that wrap it around a couple of times to make sure that it's hidden you can have your beak however you like it I don't know how do you like your beak do you like it like that I think like that that's quite sweet oh we get our feet so the feet, we're just going to put through there. Like that. And we're going to get some scrap. Probably the white that we had earlier is, is enough. There's enough of that. Probably the easiest way to make sure that it fits on a child's hand is, is to do what I'm doing now. So you just wrap it around a couple of times so it's secure. And then get their hand, put it on 
<laughs> How am I going to do this with what? this balancing there? And um, just wrap it around there and then wrap it around the other foot. So I know that that's not going to be too tight on me. So I'll do it here we go, around there. Lovely little loop there. Go. I mean, you need to, of course, just to give him a little bit of a face. Put all my pens in a pen bag now. I did this, would you like, somebody asked me, would you like to see in my bloom bag? So I did this video, right? And I was like, why have I never thought about using a pencil case before? Because, you know, I put all my pens and like my nail file and, you know, biro and stuff in there and it just makes so much more sense being, uh, anyway. <laughs> so we're gonna get, oh, okay. take it off my hand first. Going to do some little eyes. And there he is, he's cute. The 260 one is, makes a nice prize because it's big. And this is a uh, but just a little bit more of a wearable fashion accessory so i do hope that was helpful to you um don't forget to uh click on um the ones here or here um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already <laughs> or click on that one over there whatever that is thanks for joining me today which one are you going to click on next